Well, happy first day of classes. Welcome yes. back, everyone. I'm your host, SCU President Kent Engel, and as always, joined by our VP for Student yes. Development, Bethany What's Thomas. Up? Uh, after a short summer break, yeah. it went by fast. It didn't did, it? too Man, fast. We are back and ready for a new year. You're watching SEU Now, our weekly update show where we keep you informed, educated on everything happening right now yep. at Southeastern University. Uh, you know, it, it was so exciting to see our students return to campus this past weekend. Great welcome weekend um, events and uh, a good start to the 21 fall semester. Definitely miss seeing everybody smiling yeah. faces around campus. Yeah. And just great to have everybody back. It is far too quiet around here when everyone's gone. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, the campus comes to life when students It return, is. So. I always look forward to August because everyone starts creeping back in. And then this past weekend was just epic. No, it was it was great. We we have a very exciting episode planned today as we will be talking with our new campus pastors. Uh, James and Brittany Powell. And James is serving, uh, of course, as executive director of spiritual formation. Brittany is serving as the director of ministry operations. Yes. And together they are awesome. Yes. Uh, and, and we are so grateful to have them at SCU. They just began these positions this summer and have, I mean, already doing a spectacular job. Oh, that's right. Great Monday, Monday night, great message. Yes. And uh, yeah, so we're we're excited. Uh, last right. time we got together, James and Brittany actually joined us, but you were in California. Yeah. Yes. It was Zoom. So crazy. It was ah, it was the it was the thing we all hated about yes. 2020, the Zoom calls. Yes. But it was so awesome. Yeah, we we were just thinking the the whole time in California, you know, you just see through the screen. Yeah. You don't know what all's going right. on here and uh, the weather here, uh, the people here. Yes. And it's so different. Just having boots on the ground. Yeah. It's been amazing. Yeah. Well, welcome to uh, to the studio here yeah. on campus. And and before we get started, I do want to fill you in on the top three things that you need to know this week about SEU. Today marks the first day of classes, as we already talked about. As you head into this new season, I want to remind you of our word of the year, time to sow. Excited about this season. A new semester can be the chance for really a brand new beginning. It's your chance to, to sow new seeds, yeah. to holistic holistically develop your life mentally spiritually emotionally all the things that are important uh in in your uh, in your daily uh walk and and of course as you do that you'll produce some great fruit yeah let's start this semester off strong with healthy habits and smart choices yeah and don't forget um we just launched the time to sow devotional on you version if yep. you don't have the app on your phone download it and i started it this morning i know pastor james awesome. started it this morning and it's a great devotional so don't forget and you can get spiritual formation credits for doing it right you do i believe you get four That's credits amazing. for the Devo. So oh, wow. uh, if you went to the chapels week one yeah. and you do the Devo, you'd be sitting at 11 credits. That's wow. crazy. That's a great start. That's a great yeah, start. let's do it. Oh, goodness. Hey, and also uh, tomorrow, uh, the annual battle yes. between the dorms, yes. known as the Hall Wars. Yes. I thought people were saying Hogwarts when I first got here. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah. You're going to come uh, dressed up. Like, yeah. You're going to have your wand and your like, <laughs> cloak. Uh, <laughs> oh, man. It all starts, uh, what, tomorrow night at 730? Yes, sir. Yep. Awesome. And uh, so come out, represent your residence hall yeah. in a series of exciting games, competitions. Yeah. We hope uh, hope everybody can join yes. in on, on the fun. And, of course, this Saturday... Uh, August 28th, the Fire football Woo! team Woo! kicking off their season. Shout out Brian Bell. Shout yes. out Cam Correa. Yes. Come on. Coach Rivas. Yes. We're so excited for Saturday. Awesome. We are uh, playing against University of Fort Lauderdale, and from the scouting report, we are going to destroy ah, them. Let's go. <laughs> let's go. Uh, and that starts at, <laughs> at 7 p.m., uh, but we have tailgating at 5 p.m. Yes, sir. Yes. Uh, lots of food, lots of great f We got a lot of food trucks coming, yep. I think. Yep. And, and uh, good stuff. So with the fire recently earning recognition in the 2021 20, uh, NAIA preseason wow. top 25 poll. That's wow. Come on. Uh, so it's safe to say it's a game you won't want to miss. So come out this weekend. Show your support. Uh, stop by the bookstore. Make sure you swag up. Yeah. Get some yes. merch. And you are repping uh, fire football. Go fire. So it's going to be great. Is it a special uh, is it wear a special shirt or something like that this, this week? This week I'm it's to not, but let's okay. just call it a blackout. Let's yeah. just. Okay. Let's go. Wear black. Let's do it. Let's do it. go. Black right. or red represent but I'm going to be wearing all black. I'm in. All right. Sounds good. Well, James and Brittany, uh, how has the transition been from uh, California uh, all the way across the nation yeah. to uh, Lakeland, Florida? Are you feeling welcome? Are you feeling settled? Uh, 
oh my goodness, we feel like family. Yes. And so when we were interviewing and going through this process, everybody kept talking about how great the team was and how great the students were and the vibe on campus. And now that we're just like a couple of days into this whole experience with students being officially back on campus, yeah. I literally feel like I'm just surrounded by a big family <laughs> reunion every yeah. time we yeah. walk out of our back yeah. door. It's been uh, so great. much fun. Yeah, yeah, it's been great. Uh, I, I love that the friendliness and family vibe isn't just the administration and faculty. Yeah. Yeah. Like our students are incredible. Uh, they are. Stop, talk. Yesterday we were uh, learning to play and playing a game of spades out in Portico. Yes. So that was great. Oh, that's fun. Uh, so I, we're big spades players. So if you like to play spades, meet us in Portico. Yes. We'll be there at some point. Yeah. Great break that's in the great. day. And, and I love the fact you're actually living on campus yeah. right now. Yeah. yeah. Which is great. And, I mean, you could have chose to, to live Anywhere. by a place. and But you wanted to start out on campus. Yeah. I think you wanted to start out on campus, right? No, yeah, yeah, yeah. So they did. We just thought, hey, what better way to learn the culture than just sure. to immerse ourselves right. in it? Plus, we have a seven-year-old and then an almost five-year-old. And their backyard is the university. Yeah. And oh, so wow. they just think it is the coolest thing in the world. Yeah. Um, and they just own the campus like it's their Backyard, literally. Yeah, that's great. When they call people aunt and uncle, and so <laughs> it's funny. You are you're President Engel to all of us. Your uncle Kent to Braxton, <laughs> and so what's funny is uh, yesterday we got up and we after the Monday night chapel, we let the boys skip school Tuesday. Don't tell anybody, <laughs> uh, except but, for everyone on here. Exactly. <laughs> Don't but tell. We the decided teachers. to walk over to the chapel. And, sure. and Braxton knew you were speaking at that chapel. So he wakes up and oh, yeah. he's so upset. So he gets himself dressed and just runs from Buttercup over to wow. the chapel. And he's there. He's so, like, that is great. So it's been awesome. Like, we love being on campus and being in the heart of what's what's going on. It's yeah. Cool. Oh, it's that, exciting. Dr. Engel, you made a similar move from California. Yep. When you first came to SU, do you have any advice or tips yes. or things you wish you would have known? Uh, well, I, I mean, you're doing what what is the most important thing is just plunging right in yeah. and, and learning the culture and the environment and yeah. just taking time to uh, meet everybody that's yeah. involved in 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 what we do here at Southeast University and and you you both have done that your family has done that with excellence and yeah so excited for that journey and and what's ahead. Yeah, now I'm dying to know you guys. Is there anything you're planning for students this year in terms of spiritual development opportunities? Yes. Okay. You got to tell everybody about the social because that's going to be a lot of fun. Yes. So we figure like coming on to a college campus, whether you're a freshman or a transfer or you've been here a couple of years, you can always get to know new people. And what better way to do it? We're uh, once a month on a Tuesday night. We're kicking off the social. That's And so we'll have like a short leadership challenge, like get you excited, fill you spiritually. And then we're going to just have a party. We're going to hang. We're going to get to know people. We're going to connect people with each other. We're going to make friends. We're going to talk about groups. We just feel like it's a great opportunity to invite everybody inside one building right. or yeah. one event, make it a blast, have some free food, yeah. maybe some prizes. Wow. Everybody yeah. likes giveaways. And then give them an opportunity just to connect and yeah. make some friends. And anyone can come. Yeah, anyone, anyone. can come. It's not an insider event. It's yeah. an everybody event. Cool. And the cool thing about that, I really think, too, is it's part of our spirituality. Community and spirituality go hand right. in hand. Absolutely. So somebody's like, well, you're just going to hang out and make friends? Yeah, yes. 100%. I believe that's part of what we're called to do. That Jesus yeah, would absolutely. do. Absolutely. As you think about this next year, uh, what are you each looking forward to the most uh, in, in what you get to do? Well, I know for me uh, specifically is hearing people's stories. We yeah. say all the time, vision leaks, but stories fill. Yeah. Yeah. And so I feel like the more stories that we get to hear about students, about their lives, their spiritual formation, just what they're going through the day to day and help them develop strategic patterns and strategies to excel one day when they leave this campus. Right. I truly believe we get to hear stories for people that are going to change this world. And sure. we're just I'm humbled that we get to be a part of that journey. Yeah. I'm really excited for the football games. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, that's a, I, that's so no, it's so good. I, I, I really, I am excited about our chapels. I'm yeah. excited about what those are going to look like. Yeah. I'm excited about our, our groups. Um, but what has been really fun over the last several days has been stealing time in Portico. Yeah. And so I have to apologize to every student that I interrupted while you were studying and preparing. <laughs> but that's just, it's been incredible yeah. to meet people. There are so many people from Ohio, right. from New York, and to be able to hear like, what brought you to SEU? Right. You, you say this thing all the time about how a sun, the sun never sets right. on a Southeastern student. Right. Hmm. And that's I'm so like, good. yeah, as we start getting to know people, it's so cool to see the diverse representation on yeah. campus. So yeah. hearing those stories, it's amazing. Yeah, yeah that, it is. that's yeah. incredible. 
Now, do you guys have any uh, guest speakers lined up? Like, oh. Are any of that in the works? Or can you give us any of the inside we'll, scoop? We'll give you a little inside scoop. Okay. So we have confirmed that Jimmy Rollins oh. is going to be here. I so love him. He's actually going to be here next Monday night. That's incredible. So we're looking forward to yeah. that. Um, we can't tell you the date yet because we've been texting back and forth all morning. But Sean Johnson from oh. Red Rock oh. Church oh. Oh. will be here in September. That's, That's incredible. Great. It's going to be exciting. Yeah. Peter Haas from yep. Substance wow. Church, Minneapolis, will yeah. be with us. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so and we have three other, including Tao, yeah. and an international speaker that will yes. be here. Wow. Mission Emphasis Week. Yes. So we've got a lot of things yeah. in the works. Uh, the easiest way is to s stay tuned on Instagram, obviously yeah. at SEU Chapel, because yeah. um, we're going to be updating you with all the info yeah. there. And it's crazy because we say guest speakers, but they all feel like family. Yeah. Right. You know, so we're just bringing our family back. I've never been anywhere that people ask to come speak. Uh, That's where, like, here at crazy. Southeastern, they go, we love the students. We can't wait to come there and be a part of what they're yeah. doing. Uh, Sean was just dropping off uh, part of his family. Yeah. And in doing that, he goes, I love this environment. I can't wait to come back. Oh, yeah. That's great. That's so incredible. cool. That's good. Well, as we close uh, the show uh, today, what advice uh, would you both give to our new and returning students as they start this new semester? Yeah. yeah. You go ahead. Okay, I'll go. We both did them at the same time. <laughs> um, I think something that has been a theme since we've gotten here is just be true to yourself. I say it all the time because somebody told me this a long time ago. Compare and compete. You live in defeat. Mm. God designed them and wired them specifically to be them. And yep. so be confident in who they've in who God has created yep. you to be. Um, in your classroom, when you're walking down the by, to Portico to get a coffee or when you're hanging with your, uh, your classmates yeah. or your roommates, just be you and be confident in who God has wired you to be. be because we want the best you that you can be, and that is truly walking in who God has ah, called you to be. Powerful. So good. Divine is. design yes. is what we say. Uh, I, I think the other side, you're worth getting to know. Yeah. Mm. And spend some time doing that. Like, this is not an easy transition. I know it. Yeah. maybe it feels fun in moments. Maybe it feels tense in moments. But you're worth getting to know. Figure out what do you love? What, yeah. what yeah. makes your soul come alive? For sure. I think that's some of the beauty of this experience. It is to educate yourself in the classroom, in chapels. But in that one-on-one -on -one time, asking yourself, like, how has God wired me and what, what do I really love? Um, it can be easy to do one of two things, I think, in this kind of environment. You can either, A, be like, I'm a nonconformist. I don't like what other people like, you know, yeah. so you could do that. Or you can go, I'll just like what everybody sure. likes. I think both, unbalanced or unhealthy. Yeah. And so just go, hey, what desires are, are planted in me and how can I pursue those? Yeah. yeah. That's so good. Yeah, it is. Well, I want to thank you both for joining us today yeah. on this first show. Come on. Of the brand yes. new Thanks year. for inviting us. Of course. Uh, and, and just so, again, grateful that you're here and uh, you're doing what you're doing and yeah. investing in our amazing community and leading us in, in our spirituality. So we're, we're extremely grateful. Looking forward to all the exciting things planned for this year. Our SEU community is uh, absolutely, uh, we feel lucky that yeah. you are leading us in this way. And we'll be doing lots things together. In fact, I think coming Monday we're going to do a yes. workout together. And cool. I'm going to wow. try to keep up. I think we're going to start. Oh, you keep up. I'm going to catch up with you. No. And, and I think what we're going to do is do a, a here's the monthly workout routine. No. And so Let's do it. We'll show them cool. and students can say, I'll you know, for the next month oh, this is man. what you can do. I'm this scared. is at least one thing you can do. I'm in. That would be awesome. I feel awesome. like my arms are already sore. <laughs> <laughs> I'm already tired. Yeah, and we definitely got to do arms because Let's, that, yeah. Yes, so come we'll, on. We'll, we'll, we'll do that. But hey, thank you for joining us today on SEU Now. James and Brittany, thank you both so much thank for being here guys. with us today and looking forward to all the things that uh, are, are planned out this coming semester. And uh, yeah, it's going to be a, a great year. And as it usual, is. keep up uh, with us uh, on the latest uh, with uh, everything going on here. You can do that at SEU News and Updates Online and follow us on social media at SEU University and at Kent underscore Ingle. Hope you all have an amazing first day of classes and yeah. we look forward to connecting with you again on SEU Now. Take care, everybody.